This video looks at rationalising certs, a key part of cert work. It uses one key fact, which is that if we do root 5 times root 5, for example, the answer is just 5. The square roots effectively cancel out. Now, we don't like fractions with the square root underneath the fraction. It is not good or easy to divide by a third. However, if we times top and bottom by the third, then the top becomes 5 lots of root 2, and the bottom becomes root 2 times root 2, which is just 2. So the answer, which is an equivalent fraction, i.e. the same number, has the square root on the top, which is seen to be a better form, and this has therefore been what is called rationalised. So, in these simple examples, you just times the top and bottom by the third from underneath. So the second one, I would times by the root 5. So the top just becomes 7 root 5. Now, there's a 3 there, there's also a root 5 times root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5. And there's a 3 there. So it just becomes 7 root 5 over 15. Again, the third is passed from the bottom to the top of the fraction. In the third example, what we can do is we can times by root 8. So, we get 5 root 8. Now, root 8 times root 8 is 8. There's a 2 there. 2 times 8 is 16. Now, that's not actually the best answer. Because root 8 can be simplified. Now, root 8 is the same as root of 4 times 2, where 4 is a square number. So, this is the same as root of 4 is 2. So it's 2 root 2. If you're unsure of this, then see my separate video on simplifying thirds. So root 8 is 2 root 2. So this is the same as 5 lots of 2 root 2, all over 16. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 root 2 over 16. And 10 sixteenths is 5 eighths, so 5 root 2 over 8. It has been rationalised and also put into its simplest possible form.